Hi, this is uh, Shank the Tank, and um, I realize I haven't made any videos for a little over a year, and um, I decided to start uh, making a series of um, how-to origami videos because I came across the view count and um, all the good comments I got from my um, paper folding of a um, jet fighter dollar bill. So I thought, well, I know how to do a lot more origami stuff with normal paper now, so I might as well share it with YouTube. So, one of the first things I'm going to show you in this series of um, how to's is how to make um, a paper ninja star. And this is um, it's pretty easy, and it's one of my favorites. So, here we go. Now, the first thing you need to do with all these origami videos is if you do not have origami paper, you need to make origami paper. And the way to do that is to get a you know normal eight and a half by eleven, and this is obvious. This is already a square, and you're gonna fold off one of the corners so it's flush against this side, and then you're gonna un um, then you're gonna unfold um yeah you're gonna fold it like this, and then you're gonna fold this whole triangle over like that, you're going to fold it over, and you're going to unfold, and then tear off this piece of paper. So then you got a square. So once you've done that, for the ninja star, you're going to want to fold this in half. Crease as always. And do a couple, you know, back folds to get this really good, because what you're going to end up doing is um, tearing this in half, and if you got scissors, yeah, that's great, but hold on. And there you go. Two even pieces of paper. Now you're going to put one off to one side, and you're going to work on this one. You're going to fold this one all, um, in half long ways. Like that. Then you're going to take a corner and fold it right up against the side. Does that. Flip around. And do the exact same thing except in the opposite direction. Like so. Then you're going to, I don't know if you've ever made a paper football, but you're going to pretty much do it like um, attempt to make that except going out to the inside by taking this corner folding it like that, and then doing the same to the other side, and then doing it again, doing it again. And if this turned out okay, which mine didn't really turn out that well, you're going to um, end up with a perfect um, shape like that, where this seam is going to go right up with a little teeny tiny space right between here. Anyway, so now you're going to unfold a little bit. See, now you got those creases. You're going to fold along those creases like that, and then flip it over, and then fold these corners along there. And you know, you know, crease, 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 crease. And then you got that, that little piece. And that's one part of the Ninja Star. Put that aside, and do the exact same thing with the other one. Okay. So I have just folded my other half of my piece of paper, and now I'm taking my other half, and we got both of these. Now, if this is a good one, it's going to turn out, which apparently it isn't. If you lay them on top, whoa, whoa. if you lay them on top of each other like this, that shouldn't happen. What should happen is it makes kind of a ninja star shape if you, you know, fold in all the corners and stuff like that. But seeing as when you do it like this, that doesn't happen, it's actually an easier way is you, um, you know, flip it over and just kind of interlock them like that. And now you've got one side and you're going to take this corner and put it right into the flap right there. And then do the same with that one. Flip it over. And there you go. Actually, that didn't. That turned out pretty well. And I know someone might say this isn't true origami. You know, this is just kind of a fun little thing. It's kind of basic. 
and um, you, these you can throw these they you know kind of spin out and stuff and they're they're you know pretty fun and bigger the bigger the square you got the bigger you can make them um, one of my friends got a huge piece of paper and made a like um, like six foot by six foot one of these it was it was absolutely massive and then of course um, I made a teeny tiny one like about the size of a dime but that took you know a lot a lot of time so um yeah rate and comment and I'm gonna come out with a bunch more how-to origamis